gonna lose a lot of people when you better yourself. Cold gang. We outside though. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. It'll be a long ride when it comes to this project that I'm currently doing. furnishing my two bedroom two bath apartment in Dubai and also in the process I'm also doing a little bit of decorating on the wall just to make it feel more warmy vibe and just to bring out the home still aesthetically pleasing and just you know comfortable but still good to look at so for starters for the first thing I'm doing today I am doing the wall paneling I have an inspo picture right here that I am wanting to follow so that I make my walls not look just so plain because I have a little bit of spaces that I feel like it would just look better if I put the wall paneling. For starters, I went to Dragon Mat. I looked at different kinds of paneling. I looked at different sizes, different kinds. It was foam and fiber, pure fiber and everything. I was able to settle on the type of molding that I wanted for my apartment. And the good thing I like about this molding that I have currently installed for starters, you can see part of it at the back. Um, it is purely um, fiber and foam, right? So, <laughs> sorry, I had to get that straight because I kind of forgot. I went through a lot of shops, so it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. So, and today I hired a couple of guys to come over and help me install it, do the molding and a bit of wall paneling in my bedroom. I'm just gonna take you guys with me so that I just don't have to keep on talking. I know it's gonna get a little bit boring and everything, but just. I hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy the journey because I'm super excited about this project. This is something that I love to do. Just arrived with the they just arrived with the material. I always make it a point to go through the inventory before they start the work because I know you've ordered and you have agreed, you know, in the stores and everything, but you just have to look through the inventory and just see like how many extra did they bring, how much you're gonna be charged extra. So also he was trying to take the measurements for the whole walls that I wanted the molding to be placed on and just to divide everything and to make sure everything is equal because I didn't want like I wanted a very perfect job so I wanted them to pay attention to details and it was a bit hard to communicate as well because they're you know they're Indian or I don't know Bangladeshi and they don't really speak perfect English and neither do they really not understand it but we were able to work it work it out After taking all the measurements of all the walls, now we were ready to start with the work. Um, I gave them my measurements and just exactly how I wanted everything to be positioned. But still, I stayed throughout the whole process because sometimes when you're dealing with workers, you just have to be there so that you know you just don't make sure they install something in a wrong way that you didn't want, and then you get back and then you try to tell them, oh yeah, you needed to do this. So I just wanted to be there throughout the whole process. So he, he was just cutting the moldings to fit the exact measurements of the wall. And I ordered two different sizes of moldings. I ordered a much more thicker one that's for the outer square bracket and uh, outer tangle or square bracket. And then I ordered a smaller molding. This will fit the inner frame. I feel like maybe you would understand me when you just see it. All the molding on the wall, they use hot glue together with silicone. But later on, we found out that if they just use silicone to install it on the wall, it ended up damaging the paint that was already on the wall. So we kind of like limited, we worked our way around it and limited the amount of silicone that we put on the molding before we attach it to the wall. So we put, we use less silicone and more glue, hot glue. <laughs> And it was quite a struggle because we kept on lifting holes, um, like minor spaces on the molding, which I will take care of it later. I think when it comes to the time that I would be painting the molding, I'll probably use filler just to fill in the gaps and make sure everything is all right. 
and the apple so we're going to 10 centimeters. Oh, also 10 centimeters. Because this wall is big, that top wall is small. This is what I meant by sometimes when you're having workers over you just need to keep an eye. I'm a very particular person and I love it when things are done in a particular manner like exactly how I want it. So I stepped out for a minute just to deal with some calls and everything and I came back and they had placed the moldings in the wrong direction like they literally flipped it. But at this point, I didn't think that it was necessary to remove the molding from the wall because um, I realized that once they stick the molding on the wall and you take it out, it also peels out a little bit of the paint, which ends up making more damage, which will cost a lot more later to like repair with filler and stuff. So I just, I was a little bit disappointed, but I just decided to let it go because at this point you know there's nothing much you can do they've already installed in different <laughs> places around the house so i was just like okay let me go with it but i try my best to explain to him and let him know that this is how i want it to be done individually like also if you're sticking the molding on the wall i wanted to try your best to make it like full stick and not have open gaps but I also got to understand that some of the moldings had defects and therefore we needed to exchange them so there's a small one you will need to cut Can you do it all the way to the end? The yeah, because there is not. Uh... That was <laughs> And here, it's like a pocket, you know, like a pocket. The... Yeah, because you know, when somebody comes in, they look at this first. Let me see. I do the finishing. Okay. I will do the finishing. No problem. Okay, let me let me look. Can you move? Let me look. See, I just put it. Yeah, it's better. That's all. See. Not seeing. But still, okay, let's see how it should look at the end. Okay, no problem.
taking some time but finally we have the bedroom paneling here so uh, thank goodness we're going to be able to install them today as well yeah so like it's saying thank goodness we're going to be installing them Child, this one pained me. Let me explain. When it comes to installing the switches, they were not so keen on it. It made me really regret deciding to proceed with them originally because I thought they really paid attention to details. And I kind of saw some faults before when it comes to installing the molding on the walls and we had to do over a lot of times. So when it comes to installing the switches, they couldn't make the the right slots like they did, they couldn't cut out the right slots the exact measurements for the switches and they ended up cutting on like a lot bigger holes and everything it's like this whole thing is just even making me mad right now because it came out to look so ugly and they filled the holes with silicon and everything so this is not something that you can put filler on just to disguise it and that's why i was just like oh my god i don't think i really want to proceed with them so they just finished and i've actually just done a little bit of vacuum around the area and to be honest i can't really wait to show you the finished job but the walls are not yet finished this is because i want to paint them on top i want to paint the cream color on top and just to kind of make sure that it's going in sync with the color of the apartment and you know because my color is <laughs> this color so i want to paint them like an egg wash because now they're white but before i do that i want to show you the finished job that i have just done because this is still progress you know Now, I'm not a believer of doing work twice or thrice or even four times for you to get the perfect job, especially when you say you're experienced in the kind of field that you're working in. I mean, I believe that you should do the job perfectly for the first time you should try to do your best like the first time so that when you're going through it for the second time it's just to correct small mistakes and just little bits that are easily fixed so it was quite evidence to me that i don't think i want to proceed with a company that you know does this and then i'm trying to let them know that okay this is wrong and then they're just like okay we will do it over and no i prefer something that's just like okay you're good and experienced so let's just go ahead you know what i mean so when it came to the painter i was just really really happy because i felt like i was speaking to somebody who was a little bit more experienced i didn't even need to tell him to fill some of the some of the paintings that were chipped before he did it you know he just like i came along later during the day when he was already in the house and he had already done some of the he had already filled some of the holes that were just quite evident so I was just so happy with the way he was feeling everything. I mean, I can see he was just really paying attention to even the small nooks and creaks and everything. And this is just what I like. For the paint color, I went with the same paint color of this apartment. It was like an egg wash. 
um, just because I think it looked a little bit better without mm. like the contrasting factor of the white it was too contrasting and according to the way that the guys fixed it before it's not something that you can get away with without applying filler or without paying uh, without painting on top so now he is just doing the sample taste to see if the color would look really well and I think I like it because this is it with the paint, the eggshell, the wall color and this is it without. just finished installing the wallpaper and this is how it's looking like right now I like the texture probably just like zoom in a little bit so that you see the print the pattern and I like how complements each other I'm not so sure why I'm getting a shade on the camera but like they really do complement each other the colors like in real life but probably maybe when I take a picture with my phone it might look better but yeah let me see from this it's looking very good I like it I really like it This is the finished work guys. I really like the outcome but not so much belief in the journey of making it. I was super persistent on the painter to try his best to make everything come together like. <laughs> it all ended up costing more but what can I say? <laughs> I'm in love with the outcome. Tell me down in the comment section what you guys think. Till next time. Ciao.